Okay, this is part two of your Sunday support for May 22nd, 2016. I'm having some technological difficulties, so this will be two different videos. In the last one, I covered unit one and your research proposal, and now I would like to talk a little bit about your annotated bibliography, which is your second major project due this week. The annotated bibliography is an assignment in which you will be gathering research sources, evaluating what they're saying and how what they're saying might relate to your argument. Now, this means that you should develop a hypothesis about what you think you'll be arguing. I understand, and you should understand as well, that this doesn't mean that you are committed to that argument, but rather that you will probably end up talking about that. Um, once you have an idea of what you want to talk about, you'll be looking for sources that help you support those claims. And depending on the topic that you're looking at, uh, you might be looking at a lot of different types of sources. So um, that's pretty flexible. What I do expect, though, is that you format your annotated bibliography like the sample annotated bibliography in the sample assignments folder in the help section of our Blackboard. Um, and what that looks like is basically one or two sentences where you summarize the text that you're looking at and then the rest of it should be explaining how that text will help you in your own argument. Um, whether you're going to agree with it, disagree with it, um, or if you're using it to support a particular type of fact that's important to your argument. Um, and I would like for you to check out the library webpage that's posted in the help section of our Blackboard because that's going to help you find the types of sources that you need. You'll find that there's um, the website is created just for English 30 and it's broken down into the five major projects. So this week you're looking at project two and project three. So you want to navigate to those tabs um, and have a look at the resources there. Um, other than that, I just want to tell you in general to keep in mind that the purpose of this unit is to build your ethos as an author where you are showing that you're not just giving your opinions, but rather you're making an informed argument and that you are building off of the work that others have done um, in order to build a more sophisticated argument about your topic. Um, if you're unsure about what type of topic you want to write about, uh, do check out the section of our book on choosing a research argument, but also keep in mind that you're going to kind of spend a lot of time on this topic, so it should be something you are interested in. Maybe uh, it's something you find exciting or something you find bothersome and you don't understand why it's the way it is. Um, as usual, I encourage you to post questions that you may have about finding sources or about any difficulties you're having with the research project um, or with the research proposal to the question and answer discussion forum in our class Blackboard um, because uh, probably a lot of other people have the same questions as you. And then I just want to close by saying you are getting there. I know we're nearing the middle. Uh, you'll be receiving midterm grades this week, actually, believe it or not. So um, just my statement of how you're doing in the class. Um, but do keep in mind, we're nearing the midway mark. So uh, that might be very exciting for some of you because you're on top of things. And that might be very alarming for some of you because you're kind of behind. So take this time to think about where you are in the class and where you need to be in the class. And um, just keep in mind, we are on our way. And I hope that you have a wonderful week ahead of you. And I will see you next Sunday.